Ever wondered how the Pteranodon, a flying reptile from the Mesozoic era, evolved to adapt to its environment? Let's dive into the world of these fascinating creatures. The Pteranodon, a name that means winged and toothless, hails from a time long gone, the Mesozoic era, an age when Earth was a playground for the dinosaurs. But the Pteranodon was not a dinosaur. It was something more. It was a flying reptile. With wingspans that could exceed 20 feet, these creatures ruled the prehistoric skies. Their unique characteristics, such as a backward-pointing crest and a toothless beak, set them apart from other creatures of their time. Living along the western interior seaway, their life was centered around water, feeding primarily on fish and squid. Their environment and lifestyle played a significant role in their evolution. Now let's unfold the chapters of evolution to understand how Pteranodon transformed over time. The Pteranodon's evolutionary journey begins with its early adaptations. As the pages of time turned, these fascinating creatures began to evolve, developing traits that would allow them to not just survive, but thrive in their environment. Among their earliest adaptations was the development of their wings. Through the process of natural selection, Pteranodons with longer, stronger wings were able to fly faster and farther, reaching new food sources and evading predators with greater ease. Their wings became their ticket to survival, a testament to the power of evolution. But wings were not the only adaptations these creatures were blessed with. They also developed specialized beaks. Unlike their dinosaurian cousins, Pteranodons did not sport teeth. Instead, they had long, spear-like beaks, perfectly adapted for catching and holding on to their preferred prey, fish. These beaks allowed them to feed efficiently, ensuring their survival in the competitive world of the Mesozoic era. These early adaptations set the stage for the Pteranodon's later evolutionary changes. As epochs passed, the Pteranodon continued to evolve, introducing a set of later adaptations. These changes were not just cosmetic, they were instrumental in refining the Pteranodon's survival skills, shaping them into a more formidable creature. A fascinating aspect of these later adaptations was the transformation of their beaks. As the Pteranodon's diet became more specialized, so did their beaks. They evolved to be sharp and pointed, perfect for catching and eating fish. This adaptation allowed them to take full advantage of the abundant aquatic resources in their environment. Furthermore, the Pteranodon's wings underwent significant changes. Initially, their wings were broad and robust, designed for short bursts of flight. However, as the need for long-distance travel emerged, their wings evolved to be longer and slimmer. This change allowed them to glide effortlessly over vast distances, conserving energy while covering more ground. These later adaptations further honed the Pteranodon's survival skills, making it a formidable creature of its time. The Pteranodon's evolutionary journey is a testament to nature's adaptability. This remarkable creature, a true titan of the Mesozoic era, underwent remarkable transformations to survive and thrive in its environment. Let's recap. To begin with, the Pteranodon evolved a lightweight body structure and large wings, perfect for soaring through the skies. Its sharp beak and powerful jaw muscles allowed it to snap up fish with ease, while the crest on its head aided in flight stability and possibly courtship displays. Over time, later adaptations emerged. Its wings became more robust, capable of long-distance travel, and its beak grew longer and more needle-like, perfect for snatching fish from the water's surface. These evolutionary changes, driven by the demands of the environment and the struggle for survival, allowed the Pteranodon to rule the skies for millions of years. So the next time you marvel at a bird soaring in the sky, remember the Pteranodon, a testament to the incredible journey of evolution.